So if I say i equals the square root of negative 1, then what would i squared be? Okay, So we say i equals the square root of negative 1. Then what does i squared equal? Well, let's go back and even think about what is that. So if I say, um, right, if I say 3 squared, that means 3 times 3, right? So if I say i is equal to this, that means that's the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1. Correct? And the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1 is negative 1 squared square root. Right? Which undoes it. And then, Austin, you said it, equals what? Negative 1. So you can say i squared equals negative 1. You don't put, you don't agree, Kendra? Or you do? OK. So you have to do all that weird you stuff? You don't have to do. I'm showing you, and you can just remember, i squared always equals negative 1. Now, let's do i cubed. 3 cubed means i means 3 times 3 times 3, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I could do the square root of 1 squared, square root of 1 squared, square root of uh, negative 1 squared. I could do that 3 times, right? We already know what i squared is, which is negative 1. Right? And let's just multiply it by the square root of i one more time. Or let's just multiply it by i again. Why well, write it as square root of negative 1? Let's just multiply it by i. Because i squared means i times i times i. Right? Actually, I'm going to write it this way. i cubed means i times i times i. What does i times i mean? i squared means what? Negative 1. What's negative 1 times i? Negative i. So therefore, i cubed equals negative i. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. i to the fourth. i times i times i times i, right? You guys remember this stuff? Sure. z. Curse of Z's. So we have I. No, I'm serious. no we got to use the I. What the heck? That's stupid. <laughs> What's the right. It's imaginary. That's so here we go. What's I times I? Is I squared, right? Yeah, but it's so we already know that is going to equal negative 1. And what's I times I here? That's negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 equals positive 1. So I to the fourth equals positive 1. Yeah, and guess what happens? Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to go through this because I'm going to try to keep this shorter. But if you guys keep on adding i to it, because think about it. Let's add i to the fifth. 1 times i is what? 1 times i is back up to i again. And then you multiply it again by i. And what happens is it just repeats. So the main important things, you guys don't need to remember this, but you should be able to derive it each one. You guys just need to remember i equals the square root of negative 1. i squared equals negative 1 i cubed equals negative i, and i to the fourth equals 1. And yes, we will be working on writing those down, Mallory, rather than.